right, collectors, today on the channel, we've got a special treat. Once again, another figure from the HasLab Hiss. It is the Cobra Hiss Gunner. Um, <laughs> I don't mind this figure, but I always prefer a regular uh, Cobra guy uh, up on the gunner. Uh, I'm, I, I, don't, don't get me wrong, um, I appreciate them including this figure as part of our set, and we'll get to that in a minute, but um, I definitely uh, always prefer just a regular, regular old Cobra Trooper up there. Uh, maybe she's part of a special Royal Guard or something, I don't know, but we'll get to that in a little while. Here's the box that she comes in. She comes with her own distinctive style of uh, uh, box, as all the Hiss HasLab troopers do. And the diabolical thing that Hasbro did was they numbered them diabolical. <laughs> but anyways, um, the Cobra High Speed Century Gunner. Very cool. Number 101 in the line. It's got the Cobra Hiss logo on the side, 788. Mark GH7C. I don't know what that means. Somebody can tell me in the comments below. I think she's got the most weapons out of everybody. Everybody. And I think these are power fists, I believe, or electro fists, something to that effect. Um, almost almost like the Warhammer 40K fist. Hey, also, did you guys hear that Henry Cavill made it a go on the Warhammer 40K movie? That's near and dear to my heart. Moving back to this show. Um, I really dig the artwork on the back. I dig the, um, you know, the, the drawing, the concept here. Uh, just a really nice uh, setup. Uh, just fantastic. I dig it. Nice box. Am I keeping this box? Yes. Yes, I am keeping it because I have to display it on my complete collection. Now I have a Hiss that's all boxed up and still minty fresh. Uh, so um, these will have to be empty boxes on the display. The Hiss is its own box. Anyways, like this box, I'll be displaying it as well. And of course, when you open the box, you get a distinctive, you know, kind of look that's holding her. Uh, I'm not going to keep this. I just thought you guys might. I, I like the special detail that they paid to this. Um, great work, Hasbro. Um, you know, again, when you screw something up, I'm going to tell you. But when you get something right, I think it's worth noting. And you guys should always know when, when they do something good. And I think there's there's good feedback and there's, critis, you know, constructive feedback. Um, I think companies should embrace both. And as customers, we should always provide both. We need to let them know when we're when they're doing good, and we let them know when they're sucking. So um, for this HasLab so far, it is out of the ballpark. So please continue that Hasbro. Um, I think as human beings, we always get tied up into, well, I'm gonna tell them this sucks. Yeah, but when do they do good, right? We have to also um, let people know when they do right. It takes one bad thing to clear out eight different things, eight different good things. So you got to do eight new good things to get back into the one good thing. Um, so I, I, or you, do, you had to do eight good things to clear out the one bad thing. But I would say always give positive feedback. And this is a great anyways, moving on I like the packaging. Great job. The figure itself. Um, I didn't know what to expect here. It's uh, I didn't know if it was the old book, the new book. And I, I I'm not going to go run upstairs and grab the other buck. I want to just judge this figure on its merits. Uh, what does it look like? Well, it looks like what they promised us. What would exactly what would be in there and in the same style of the Hiss crew, that iconic red and black and kind of a blue logo there in the middle. Um, this looks iconically, iconically like the, um, <laughs> sorry, my adolescence got the best of me there. Uh, iconically like the, um, you know, the figures that we were getting, the design that we were getting. A very cool figure. Um, love it. Uh, I, I like the design. I like it, uh, the way it looks and everything. So aesthetically, I'm going to give this figure a five. It's, you know, again, I grade my figures one through five. One, it's trash, put in the trash can, throw it away, burn it. Two is give it to Goodwill. Maybe somebody else will love it, but not you. Uh, three, uh, it's a meh figure. Take it or leave it, you know, keep it or don't, meh. Uh, four to four and a half, solid, solid figure. Four and a half to five, great figure. And every now and then we'll turn it up to, to an 11 with a 5.1 and it's a must have. This is a five, it's a it's a good figure. I'm sure they'll reuse this buck and we'll, might get, we might get this gunner again now. 
The one thing that I absolutely love is that they didn't give us crap joints. But anyways, we're talking about aesthetics. Aesthetically, this is exactly what I pictured. This is exactly what I got. Uh, it's got some different textures to it. It's got some dull, it's got some shiny down here on the boots. Um, you know, shiny here, textured here, textured here. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, shiny here. You know, it's got different textures, different colors, different pops. Uh, cool little display map there for her targets. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Um, it's a five. Uh, all right, so let's let's get into the articulation as we always do. Um, it, when we were kids, I don't think we had a female uh, his trooper, did we? You guys can correct me down below, but I don't remember. I remember having the driver, but I don't remember ever having a secondary release as a female uh, trooper, uh, gunner, or anything like that. I mean. I'm not going to turn it down. So but anyways, uh, let's start with the head here. Let's see what we got. I just took her out of the package. Yeah, not bad. Could be better. It's okay. Not anything to write home about. Does she turn a little bit? Yeah, she turns there. That's fine. No problems there. No problems there. Let's look at the... Oh, uh, this is not super great. Hold on. I have to... Okay, this is one of those. All right. So let's press down hard. So this is the T-Pose as best as I can get it out of the box. Not great, not horrible. Not great, but not horrible. Um, it's okay. That's an okay T-Pose. I would have preferred it higher. And I'm already pushing it pretty hard to get it up there, but I don't want to bust this off. So it's all right. Uh, cut at the bicep, double jointed, awesomely double jointed pinless elbows, which are always the best. Let's see right here, what do we get here? Do we get an up and down there? Or do we get a come hither? Yeah, this is an up and down. This is a dice roll. And what do you get on this side? Dice roll. So both of these are dice roll hands. Uh, great job there. This does come off, looks like the Nintendo Power Glove. <laughs> That's an old one there. It's got a little control joystick right there. See that? And here's the, the readout there. Very cool. Um, let's see, she does have, she has a cut at the torso up here at the top. Works very nicely. She has a cut at her midsection down here at the waist. Works very nicely. No, it's got friction, but it, it's not overly tweaked. Drop down, drop down, uh, Th uh, hip joint there cut at the thigh now this is where I had some problems here I really had to put a lot of weight on this double jointed I this was stuck on me but I've heated it up popped it out it's good to go but it's still tough it's still kind of hard to move I'm gonna have to put some oil in it but I didn't want to you know dink around with it too much uh, double jointed pinless knees and this is what I'm finding out that on this buck they've redesigned the 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 boot cut to be down here lower it's more like an ankle cut and then ankle pivot so that far down that far that is amazing that is a lot there so wow uh and she can kick up let's see that high which is pretty good it's pretty good let's see what her crunch is i think we skipped right on past that crunch let's see not not great I don't know if it's this bib or this uh, chest protector that's killing it, but it's not great. That's not great. No, I don't like it. Not great. Um, yeah, not great. So I think the worst thing is here. The 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 roughest part that I that I just immediately see with this um, figure is no crunch here, and the T pose is goofy. Uh, it's just not as high as I'd like it to be. So, and finally, uh, the Scalpy McScalperson score so that eBay doesn't mistake my video for a kid's show. Uh, Scalpy, or, or the investment of, of this particular figure, where where are we gonna leave this at? And, you know, I'll put a Scalpy, Scalpy McScalperson guideline right here. Um, this figure is going for let me check eBay real quick, or Evil Bay, whatever your preference is. All right, so upon consulting with the trade Evil Bay, eBay, whatever you wanna call it, I think it's a necessary evil, but you know, your opinion may vary. 
Uh, upon consulting with it, it said it's worth about 50, 55 bucks for her, which is twice the amount uh, of a normal figure. So in the Scalping McScalperson score, she falls right at a four, right at a four. Now, I think she has the ability to move up to a five because again, they only printed 26, 27,000 of these and no more, that's it. So I think she has the great potential to move up. Uh, and as always, I would tell you guys, um, be careful when you invest in toys. Uh, it's, uh, it's a boneheaded move. What you should be investing in is maybe your savings or maybe real estate. Uh, or maybe your 401k at a minimum. Uh, this is not going to pay for your retirement. Uh, as you can see, Ross is making sure that it doesn't. <laughs> so I warned you guys, like at the beginning of this channel, do not invest in figures. It's a, it's, it's a losing proposition. So um, anyways, I'll get off my high horse. But uh, so yeah, I think she has the potential though. Every now and then you'll have a figure that does show potential. And I think this one, for the mere fact that it was produced in such a low quantity, the MOQ was very low on these. So um, I would say she eventually will, will start climbing up there. And because this is the Hiss Lab, uh, this Hiss Tank is such, you know, such a big hit, a popular item with the, with the uh, G.I. Joe crew or the G.I. Joe community. Um, yeah, yeah, they're gonna want it. Um, excited about it so let's take a look at her accessories and then we'll rate her here she has her entrenching tool because it looks like an entrenching tool <laughs> it's not a shovel people keep calling it shovels it's not a shovel in the military we call these entrenching tools stop calling it a shovel i know for the civilians it's a shovel but it's not a shovel do you see these cuts here this is what you use to put in somebody's skull <laughs> I'm sorry, it sounds scary, but yeah, usually this entrenching tool is like, you know, they're usually sharp down here to dig and for self-defense. So anyways, a nice little tool here. It's got some, some usually, and these will also be to like in the, in the middle of something if you need to open lug nuts or whatever. Uh, and then this is a bottle opener. No, I don't know what this is. Somebody tell me what this is, but anyways, uh, here's her entrenching tool. Uh, the other thing she gets is a regular uh, sidearm. Nothing super special to write home about here. Regular sidearm, we've seen it before. And then she gets this really cool hammer, you know, combat hammer, what do you call this, war hammer? Hey, I said it again, twice in one episode. Uh, yeah, so this is great for, you know, again, you've got some, you know, lug nut things there that you could use or, you know, separate I would imagine she might use it to, you know, maybe even work on some of the uh, treads if the tank goes south on them or, you know, breaks on them or whatever. So here's the, the hammer for that. Or you can take this right across uh, the enemy combatants uh, <laughs> vulnerable body. Uh, here is the Joe's body. So here is the weapon that she comes with as well. Her primary, well, her primary weapon are those turrets up there. Those things are awesome. But I guess this is her primary weapon. If she doesn't have, if she does, if she isn't in the his tank, uh, you know, this is kind of a mid-range weapon and a little bit of a bayonet for close encounters. And for really close encounters, I really dig this auto-loading shotgun. Look at all those shotgun shells she comes with. I don't like this. It's kind of bendy there. I'm gonna have to put some heat on it. It's not a big deal, but I would have preferred it not be bendy is my uh, hope. So there you go. Um, what do we rate this figure with all the accessories, everything that she comes with? Um, I think there's a, or, you know, I don't like the lack of crunchability there and I don't like that. For that alone, she's a five for looks. Uh, she is a, just had a pizza delivery, so I had to stop for a second. Anyways, uh, let's wrap it up uh, for this particular figure here it's a five for the iconic look and aesthetic and aesthetics of the figure uh the presentation of her you know you know the you know just just the design is great um for the articulation that's lacking i'm gonna i mean it's not bad it's definitely not you know zorana bicep busting stuff uh but for her articulation i am going to give her I'm going to say a 4.2. It's solid. It's not 
I mean, a lot of this is good and I really like these joints here, but I'll have to take off a lot of points for not being able to do a T-pose and not being able to crunch very good. Uh, but the rest of it is really good. So it's a solid, solid articulation. I'm gonna give it a 4.2. Uh, and so together that should, I, I mean, again, this is so subjective, you guys. So I, I'm gonna rate it, not a spectacular figure, but a good solid figure at a 4.4. .4. Just that close to being a, a super solid figure, right? So it's a great figure. I think she's a solid figure. Solid figure at a 4.4. .4. Uh, you guys can feel free to disagree with me. Just put it in the comments below. Um, so I don't think she's anywhere near, you know, a Cobra Commander level type figure, uh, but she is good in her own right in that, you know, again, she has that iconic pose. She has that great uh, uh, design and she has a ton of accessories that she comes with. So, her oh, you know what? We almost forgot these. She comes with power gloves. Look at that. Just like the uh, driver. So get a face full of these. Boom. <laughs> so even that so 4.4 total now before we wrap up uh pure soul you right here your time is running out to contact me you're down to like less than 24 hours again if pure soul does not contact me and i've actually mentioned it in the comments below how to contact me if you don't get a hold of me i'm gonna pull another tomorrow by 10 a.m. I'm going to redraw once more for the Ross Cobra Viper Appreciation uh, uh, three pack. I'm going to give it away at some point. <laughs> so we let's finish this contest so we can get to the next one. So uh, Pure Soul, give me a call, please. I, I want to give this away to somebody. Um, uh, you know, it's it's hilarious. Everybody's looking for it. And then when it's knocking at your doorstep to have it, uh, you know, that's why it's important. Put them notifications on, subscribe so that you can know when you win. We're going to have way more of these anyways. Uh, but uh, it's just funny how anyways, guys, it's, uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm going to have some time off these next uh, next few days. I'm going to concentrate on number one, being with my family. And I hope you are, too. That's what's important. And number two, uh, you know, doing some uh, toy hunting, doing some mods and customs that I've been looking forward to doing. Uh, hopefully I can get it down to at least one, maybe two videos a day that we put up there. So it's going to be real exciting in the next couple of, uh, couple, next few days. Um, and I hope you en enjoy uh, the next few videos that are coming out. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to crack open a toy or two if you're feeling some kind of way about the world and put a smile on your face. As always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling these out.